Hello guys, my name is Soris, and it's June, and it's a very special month. In this video, we're going to talk about pride. Now, I'm going to try and make this video as concise and short as I can. Please make sure to listen carefully and have an open mind while listening to this video. Also, if you like the video that's playing in the background, you can check it out in the description below. Now, before we start the video, there's a few things I want to talk about. If you dislike, or hate, or just simply have no interest in these terms, you can click out of this video at any time. In this video, we're mainly going to talk about a little bit of history, the meaning of the sexualities, the terms for said sexuality, and the flags, from the meaning of the colors to what it looks like. If there's any misunderstanding, if there's missing info, or just bad content from my part, please make sure to let me know in the comments. In this video, I'm going to be including 18 sexualities, and the fetish flags are not included. If your flag or your sexuality is not included, don't take it personal. There's just so many of these that I could not research. To understand this topic a little bit better, we have to start what LGBT stands for. LGBT is an acronym specifically made for lesbians, gay, bisexual and transgender. LGBT is a large acronym, but I'm only going to leave it in the most common known. What is pride? According to the dictionary, it's a high or inordinate opinion of one's own dignity, importance, merit, or superiority, whether it is cherished in mind or displayed. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it's a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction delivered from one's own achievements, the achievements of one's close associates or from quantities of possession. What sexuality? According to the dictionary, Sexuality is just one of those things you're born with. You do not choose it. It's just part of you. Whether you be physically, emotionally, or sexually aff attracted to males, females, or even both. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it's a capacity of sexual feeling or a person's sexual orientation or preference. What is gender? It's either the male or female division of a species, especially a difference in by social and cultural roles or behavior. According to the Oxford Dictionary, is either the two of sexes, male and female, to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. What are the pride flags for? Well, it's simply to represent a whole community of one single sexuality or gender. As an example, we can say the gay, the lesbians, bisexuals, etc. Now, let's start what's probably the most recognized pride flag among the whole world, which is the gay pride flag for sure. This flag was implemented in 1979 and it has been around until 2016. The oldest one that you're looking at right now is the oldest gay pride flag. This was implemented in 1978 and it was changed in 1979 due to an unavailability of the colors. The one that you're looking at right now is a version of Philadelphia's city. It includes black and a brown stripe in inclusion of the people of color and this was implemented in June of 2017. This is another gay pride flag which is from South Africa, and this is simply to represent the diversity in South Africa, and this was implemented in 2010. Now, let's talk about the colors. From the first, pride flag is hot pink, means sex, red is for life, orange, healing, yellow, sunlight, green, nature, turquoise for music or art, indigo for serenity, and violet for spirit. These colors mean the same in the flag that we understand right now, but just with less colors due to the implementation. 
Now what is a gay person? The term gay refers to a homosexual person and this means they have sexual attraction or simple attraction to his or her same gender. Gay is more specific for males with attraction for other males. The next flag we're going to look for is a bisexual flag. The pink means homosexuality, the blue means heterosexuality, and the purple means both orientations. This flag was adapted in 1998. What is a bisexual person? It's a person who is attracted to both genders, and for such, a bi or bisexual can be both in a homosexual relationship or a heterosexual relationship. The next flag we're going to see is the lesbian flag. Now things get tricky with this flag. The lesbian flag has three versions of it. The one that you're looking at right now, which I did not find the meaning of the colors, but I think it's pretty obvious. There's the same one with lipstick on it, which means for women who are very feminine can also be gay women or lesbians. The next one, this one for matriarchal, Minoar societies and favored tribes of the Amazon warriors, who also roamed the area. Labris became very popular with lesbian culture in the 1970s, but has fallen down to common use. What's a lesbian person? The term lesbian is specified for a gay woman. This means women who are attracted to other women. The next flag is the asexual flag. The black means asexuality, grey means demisexuality, blank or white means for non-sexual partners and the purple means the community. This is lack of sexual attraction or low interest into sexual activity. This flag was created and implemented in 2010. What's an anasexual person? is a person who does not like or simply not interested in sexual activity with others. Next flag is a pansexual flag. The pink means the female spectrum, the blue means the male spectrum, and the yellow means the non-binary spectrum. All of the three is regardless of the biological sex. This flag was implemented in 2010 too. What is a pansexual person? A pansexual is a romantic attraction and relationship with people of different sexualities and genders. This can also mean a sexual attraction. The next flag is the intersexual flag. Now, the intersexual people are people who are born with both sex characteristics. 1% of the population approximately shows this. The flag that you're looking for now, yellow with a purple circle, was implemented in 2013. But there was another one with pink, white, and blue, which was implemented in 2009. Now, what is an inter intersexual person? It's a person who shows both characteristics of both sexes. This means from genitals to other types of characteristics. The next flag is a transsexual flag. Blue represents baby boys, pink represents the baby girls, and the white means the intersex. This flag was implemented in 1999. What's a transsexual person? It's a person who acquires the characteristics of the other genders by hormonal or surgery treatments. Next flag that we want to look for is the gender queer flag and the non-binary flag. The one they're looking at right now is the gender queer flag and it was implemented in 2010. This other one is a non-binary flag. Now both mean that these people are not identified or considered in either of the two genders. What's a gender queer or a non-binary person is simply a person who is not identified with either of the two sexes. This means male and female. Next flag is gender fluid. The pink means for the female, the white is for no gender, the purple means both genders, the black is all genders, and the blue is for male. 
The gender fluid means that they change between the female and the male gender or spectrum. What's a gender fluid person? Is a person who can change between genders very frequently or very drastically depending on the situation that is given. Next flag is the agender flag. Both black and white means the absence of gender. The green is a non-binary gender and the grey is a semi-gender. Without gender, this can be seen either as a non-binary identity or a non-having gender identity at all. People try to avoid genderqueer, non-binary and transgender. That's why I consider agender people. What's a agender person? It's simply somebody that is not identified with either of both sexes, very similar to the genderqueer and non-binary. It's just personal opinion of what to choose. Next flag is the polysexual flag. The pink is attraction for females, the green is attraction for non-binary, and the blue is attraction for males. This includes attraction for multiple people at the same time. It can also feel sexual attraction. What's a polysexual person? Most likely is a person who has a poly attraction or poly relationships. Poly can mean many or multiple. Next flag is the demisexual flag. Demisexual is people who lack of sexual attraction towards someone unless they have a deep emotional connection with this person. They can be a bit related to asexuality, though with semisexuals you can also have a sexual attraction. What's a demisexual person is a person who can only be attracted to a person they share a deep emotional connection with. Next flag is the heterosexual flag. Heterosexual is people who are attracted to the opposite gender. What's a heterosexual person is simply a person who is attracted to the opposite sex. This means males with females and females with males. Here are some extrasexualities which I did not make much research on but are definitely worth talking about. First, the birth bride. This means a large, hairy and overly masculine gay man. The pangender. They consider themselves in every sexuality. The polyamorous. People with poly relationships, which means multiple people in a single relationship. Aromantic. No romance. Straight allies, straight people who support gay pride. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it, and I hope this video actually expanded your mind and let you know a little bit more about the world that's surrounding us. If you want to see more sexualities or more flags, please make sure to let me know in the comments. Then again, if my information was wrong, if you feel there's something I should include, please also make sure to let me know in the comments. If there's a video that you want to, to know something about, maybe the fetish flags, or even something that doesn't have to do with Bright, please also make sure to let me know in the comments, and I will sure make a video about it. That's it for now guys, I love you all, and remember, be you, show your colors, and stay proud because you are beautiful the way that you are thank you so much for watching guys and i'll hopefully see you in the next video bye bye